This is Jared from Commit Quality. In this video, I want to go over the delete method, and this should be a quite simple and easy one. We're going to use the JSON placeholder API as an example, which if you've followed my previous tutorials, you'll be in the same position as I am. And delete does what it says in the tin. It literally deletes the resource for us. Like I've said in my previous videos, JSON placeholder is just a dummy. So this doesn't actually connect to any server. So nothing really is going to be deleted. So we're just using this as kind of an imaginary delete and it'll give you an example of how it should look. So I'm going to duplicate my get request because we're not going to have a body or anything for our delete. All we're going to say is delete something. And once again, how do I know this is because if I scroll down in the documentation here, we've got the delete resource and it's telling us an example of what we can do. I'm hoping that the key thing I scan across is documentation is always very important when testing APIs. Let's duplicate this and let's rename it to delete. Oh, let's do it in caps just because I like that. Delete example. And we want to change the method from get to delete. We already have the base URL posts and we're using the path variable to pass through whatever ID we want. So all is working perfectly. In this case, we don't have a body or anything else. We've got the auto generated headers. I'm just going to hit send. And in this case, all we've seen is status 200 OK, which is indicating to me that the delete has worked. Like I said, this isn't connected to any server or anything, which means nothing's actually going to be updated. However, in the real world, how you'd use this is you might create a resource as part of your test, then check the resource. And then as part of your cleanup, you might want to delete it because you don't want to leave all of your kind of test data lying about somewhere. So you can call on delete and then you go back to your get resource using the same ID, which we've got as a path variable. You'd hit send and you'd expect a error code to appear here. So imagine we deleted a value with all these numbers, hit send. What you'd expect to find then is a status not found. And you could assert against that and say, oh, great, manual or automated. It's not found because I know I deleted the resource. And that's kind of an end to end scenario where you could create, delete, check that it's been deleted and confirm via the status code. And obviously nobody has been returned. In our example, it's not doing that because it's all just a dummy. If you do have any questions or comments, please drop them down below. A like and subscribe is appreciated. Thanks for watching.